I think that the earning result was slightly better than uh, market estimate. Uh, yeah, because of we see the slower uh, recovery in the memory demand. It's a thing pressure on the company's earning. And also the reason to production cut is the widening production cut uh, that also have the uh, fixed cost burden. Uh, but I think that uh, there was some upside in earnings from the smartphone and the display business. Uh, uh, thanks to some uh, new flagship model launches, including the uh, foldable phone and also new iPhone 15. Uh, but uh, we we think that the uh, you know the the such uh, the demand the recovery is a uh, is a weaker. Uh, so but right now the Samsung is more aggressive in production cut to change the the situation and uh, Samsung is also the, trying to raise NAND face price from uh, Q4. Uh, so we see some supply uh, driven or the demand uh, recovery is still uh, you know. Uh, prolonged, but uh, the such a supply driven uh, rebound is, uh, is, is in 2024 uh, from, we assume the meaningful rebound in pricing is expected from second quarter next year. Uh, so that is just uh, on track. SK, what do these numbers tell us about how Samsung Electronics is performing in the China market, especially now South Korean memory chip makers, including Samsung, will be allowed to supply U.S. chip equipment to their China factories without uh, separate U.S. approvals. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yesterday, the Korea, uh, the, uh, actually, the Korea, uh, the president office announces that Samsung and Hynix, SK Hynix will. Uh, you know, get uh, they they can you know uh, uh, utilize the uh, U.S. Uh, equipment uh, without any approval. Uh, that is a uh, positive. For it. That is in terms of the uh, the equipment export uh, banning from the U.S. government. So Samsung and SK Hynix will be some kind of exceptional. Uh, but uh, the thing is that the still the guardrails from Chips Act. It includes them. There's a limitation in the capacity expansion uh, for the new capacity. It's a less than five percent within over the like ten years. And also, uh, yeah, beside the equipment, there is also the technology. When when they export technology, they it also requires some the uh, license. Uh, they choose to get license from U.S. government. So, so that kind of the you know the capacity issue and technology issue still remain. Uh, but the, at least they can yes. reserve uh, some midterm, uh, like uh, I, I assume that maybe next year until 2025, they can upgrade their uh, current capacity in China without any uh, issues.